Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah. All praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Double honors to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well, the men of GMS who taught us this truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect that I came out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. Presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice, as the scriptures say to do, and um, you know, risking their lives and freedom, and putting in the time and the work, all right, to preach this gospel and lift the standard of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Shalom also to the few sisters, the Akwaf that's coming back, uh, all right, into their heritage and not, and not acknowledging this is the truth, all right. Uh, this is the brother Yeremiah from the Great Millstone, Chicago, camping with Father. Without Father, do we just gonna go straight into it, man? All right, starting with um, we gonna get on a black woman today. All right, and the so-called white man who was Esau, Edom, the devil. Okay, this is that same, uh, like the scripture says, that serpent of that serpent, that serpent of old who was called the devil and Satan. All right, that man from the day who was in the garden. All right, it wasn't a serpent; it was a man in the garden. And that was Esau when he had his color, his pigmentation, the spirit of the so-called white man. All right, and he was dealing, he was dealing with um Eve. All right, the so-called black woman, the first coon to ever step foot on, on a planet. All right, this is a spirit. I was watching the video, I was watching a couple videos, but everything they were saying in the videos, you know, sometimes you might have a question, all right, and then you see a video, and the, and the brother or the elders or whoever you're watching might reveal your question. Sometimes it happens like that. But sometimes you be thinking about something all day, and then you turn on the video and you see exactly what's the video. I was watching the brother, um, what's that? I think it's GMS Fear the Most High 7. Um, the brother over there, I think London, all right? He had made the video about how Esau fears our transformation. And he had made good points. He played that clip of Amistad. Then he played that clip of Bang. It's a good video. You should check it out. And also the brother GMS Mini Crowns, the brother you want here in our account, had made a video about, you know, Esau can't have it, man. Nothing more pleasurable. You know, he's not going to get no more pleasure. He's not going to get his hands on all women, on any women, for that matter. But but the, but the fattest of the fattest and the flattest of the flattest asses we can find and get that piece of shit. But these things, two videos, you know, on the same vibration, on different topics. I was thinking about these things all morning. Then I cut on these videos and I seen them. So without further ado, you know, I just want to put my input on it. You know, during the destruction of this kingdom, man, you know, Esau, he has it out for us, man. But he sees us rising up, man. And the biggest tool Esau uses against the so-called black man, you know, Native American man and Latino man and his woman. But especially that black woman, man. It goes back to Esau, Edom, and the serpent. And what the so-called black woman want is your manhood, man. Esau gave her the authority to take your manhood, man. Just like back in the day when he cut the rods off, he did a castration. He do it with your job situation. He, um, you know, he get a black woman more money. It's called economic castration. And when a so-called white man does that, he also gives her more money. He gives her more liberty. She wants to be the man. And it's, and there's nobody. Listen, man, I told a dude the other day. I don't want to talk too much. Let me get to some scriptures. But I told a dude the other day. I told a dude the other day, man. As long as the black woman thinks the white man is God, she will never fear or respect you. She will hold you in no reverence as long as that picture says Caesar Boji in her head. Now, we have women, you know, that deal with us that know the truth, that know the so-called white men of the devil, all right, and believe it. And we still get shit for them. How much more of these raggedy mouth, hair hat wearing ass bitches out here in the world, man? Even in the black conscious community or whatnot, the so-called white man has given the black woman the authority to take your manhood. And matter of fact, we're going to get into some scriptures. Basically about the whole vibration of this kingdom. This kingdom is wicked as hell, man. All right. This is Psalms 82 and uh, 6. No, this is Psalms 82 and 5. Come. This is Psalms 82 and 5. It said, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you children of the Most High. So he called the Israelites gods. And he said, they are children of the Most High. Not niggas, not spicks, not the bitches, not bitch ass niggas, not Jodies. We coming back into that God mode, man. And Esau is fearing that, man. But one of the things that kept us down is this damn hair hat wearing harlot that you niggas worship is the black woman, man. They kept us down right along with Esau, man. But we getting our manhood back 
because the reverse is being changed. This man's kingdom is going down. And right along with this man's kingdom, his sidekick is going to go down. Who is his so -called, who is his sidekick? The so-called black woman. Because the black woman ain't with you, man. The black woman is with Esau. The black woman will sit here and let her eat a mic ball. She will laugh. She will joke with him. She will comfort him. Sometimes she even has sex with him, man. All right? And then come home and get a black man shit on top of shit on top of shit on top of shit, man. Because that's where they hard at, man. That's where they hard at, man. As soon as you go to rebuke them sluts, man, or call them out on the shit they doing, they got that big picture of Siege of in the back of their brain. Hey, any nigga can't tell me shit. He's just a nigga. But the white man taught him that, man. But the white man who turned the city upside down, man, who turned the world upside down, man, has an attack on your manhood, man. And one of his biggest weapons is that black woman. But through the spirit and power, yeah, how about shit me, how a shot, man? We broke the stronghold of being submissive to these whores, man. Because these bitches with the black woman, the Latin woman, the Native American woman, and every other woman on the planet of the earth is going to bow down to the Israelite man, whether they like it or not. And they go for my mother, they go for my sister, they go for my grandmother, or whoever want to step up against this truth, man. That Jody shit is done. It's done. All right? This is um, Isaiah 29 and verse um, 16. It says, Surely the turning of thy things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work of him, shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed of him say of him that framed it, he have no understanding? Because the Lord created all these things, man. That's why the Lord said he created even the wicked for the day, for the day of evil. The Lord created all these things, man. But he put the so-called white man in play to punish us, man. And that and the white man, when he got this this world in his possession, man, he turned it upside down, man. He turned it upside down like a motherfucker. And one of the things he did was demasculate us, man. The white man and the black woman has an attack on your vibration, has an attack on your Israelite manhood, man. Like the brother, like one of the brothers in New York. Uh, I forget the brother's name. He got that Benjaminite. Accent, I think he's, he's up was on the page. GMS, uh, GMS reborn again. He had did a video on how the black woman selfish. The black woman selfish as hell. Like he a point he made. He said if it's more women than men, and these women gotta get saved through a man, why don't these black women want you to have more than one woman? Cause they selfish and wicked. Hey, when you go to First Kings, the first chapter. And you go to verses 15 and 16, you go, you see Bath, Bathsheba and uh, the Shunammite woman in there serving David. And uh, Bathsheba, who was his woman, she came in there and she bowed down before she even had a conversation with the king, man. That's all women are going back into that state, man. And there's nothing the black woman can do about it. And there's nothing the so-called white man can do about it. All right. And this is Isaiah 3 and 12. It says, as for my people, children are their oppressors. Who are the children? That stupid, feeble-ass little boy Esau. He's the child. All right? The child of the devil, too. Okay? This is Isaiah 3 and 12. As for my people, speaking of the Israelites, the black, Latino, and Native American men, the sons of Israel. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. This is not a curse happening to the Chinese man. This is not, you don't see the Chinese woman bucking up against the Chinese man talking about I can do bad all by myself. The Arab woman, the Korean woman. You don't see that, man. You only see that here in America. You only see that on, it's a propaganda, man. The black woman rocks, the black beats. Man, that's some bullshit, man. The black woman don't repent and be humble and get away from the snare of Esau. She's going to die, man. Right here in the Third World War, millions and billions of black women will burn in the Third World War in this thermonuclear fire. And before that, she'd get raped, robbed, murdered, and tortured in these vicious concentration camps, man, if she don't revert back to the black man and bow down, like it says in Isaiah 32, starting at the first verse. And that day a man shall be a, a, a covert, man. All right? Isaiah 3 and 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. And women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. How do they do it, man? They did it with that wicked fucking Christianity that is found nowhere in the scriptures. They did it. They did it with the black woman, man. Cause she the one who taught it to you, like the apostle of the Gaba say. Um hey, soon as soon as you pop out the pussy, the black woman tell you the white man is God. 
It ain't no way in hell, man. You gonna think you gonna get in this kingdom, man, and your woman gonna well fear you, man, and respect you, man. Cause the white man gave them the authority to run wild, man. And when they see us out there, man, they scared, man. They see us out there with the beards. They see us out there in the garment. They see us out there denouncing Cesare Bogier and they bullshit Christianity. And they fit that and they should fucking be scared, man. They should be fucking scared, man. Because the Most High's kingdom is coming. And he's setting up the sons of Yasha Allah, the sons of Israel, the princes of the power. Man, the hell with the so-called white man in this fucking kingdom, man. You stupid-ass niggas trying to make it here, man, and you're going to get destroyed with the so-called white man. And this is what they see when they see Great Millstone and the like-minded brothers. This is Acts 4 and 13. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took... Knowledge of them that they had been with Yahweh shot. And behold, the man which was healed standing with them, and they could say nothing against it. Because they knew that they had the spirit of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah on them, man. They had that boldness, man. Just like it says in the book, in this apocrypha, in the book of wisdom of Solomon, in the fifth chapter, we're going to stand bold in the face of them who were afflicted. I say, hey, Esau, if you the so called Jews, who the hell are you standing bold in front of, man? Who afflicted you? And you afflicted us, man. You afflicted us with your lies, your witchcraft, your sorcery. You broke up our households. You lined the man up and, and fucked him in the ass. You lined his family up and, and, and sodomized him in front of his women and his children. Now they fear and respect you, even to this day, man. For that shit, man. Back in the slave days, man. And your kingdom is over with, man. Hey, the fairy tale... The, the, the fairy tale you got going on, this twisted love affair the white man and the so-called black woman has, is finished, man. They bowing down, man. They coming back to the kings, man. We coming back to our king-like like mentality, and they coming back to us, man. We going to get this kingdom. We going to get our women. We going to get your women. And it ain't going to be nothing you can do about it, man. The love, the twisted love affair, when you see the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, and the prophets, Throughout the four corners of the earth, man, we being rooted, all right, and woken up by this word. We getting that breath of life back. The northern and the southern kingdom coming back together. And it ain't shit you can do about it, man. So that twisted love affair you have with the Israelite woman is done, man. We out here breaking strongholds, man. And that's why you motherfuckers is scared. That was just an open forum, man. Or it's just some things I was thinking about, man, with the, the black woman and the so-called white man. And look, that shit is done. But with that being said, all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles. All right, out of New York who rule well. Shalom and salutation to the hopeful elect. Keep pushing.